Can you tell me, tell me your name, please? My name is Israel Izzy Arbeiter. A R B E I T E R. And where, uh, where, and when were you born? I was born in April 25th, 1925, in Plotsk, Poland. Yes, and tell me, what, uh, when the Germans first entered Plotsk, uh, what was it like? September 3rd, 1939. And you remember the date exactly? Yeah. <laughs> and the war broke out on September 1st. Yes. And the Plotsk being close to East Prussia. Yes. And so the Germans came in on the third day yeah. of occupied Plotsk. And how, how did they behave when they came in? Well, the, front, the first came the frontline troops, so they were, they were all right. Uh, and they would die a very short time because they kept on moving yes. towards Warsaw. But the, what came behind them were the uh, so-called the Besatzungstrupp, the occupation forces. With them it was the Schutzpolizei, uh, SS, uh, Gestapo, uh, SA, mm -hmm. and with them uh, they brought the Nuremberg Wars. Yes. And all the discrimination started. And uh, that was September, October and November. Uh, 40, they established already the ghetto yes. in Plotsk, and, uh, and of course uh, circumstances started to get worse, started to get harder, um, food was rationed, uh, gradually we had to wear the armband mm -hmm. and the star of David in the front and in the back. And, um, and as it pro progressed from 40 later in the year, people started to disappear. Mm -hmm. Which means they were picked up off the street, and we never know when, we never knew where they went uh, and what happened to them. Mm -hmm. The Germans would say that they were sent to work mm -hmm. in other parts of the country, but uh, was never heard of them. Yes. And so we were in the ghetto, and it was getting, of course, progressively worse and worse. And then uh, February 1941, uh, the first group, Plotsk, the people from Plotsk were sent out in two groups. Mm -hmm. The first group was sent out uh, the 20, February 23rd, I believe. We were with the first group. Mm -hmm. And we were sent to a transit camp called Soldau, Jaldovo. Yes. In mm -hmm. East Prussia. Mm -hmm. It's and close to Plotsk, yes. Mm -hmm. Plot it's close to Plotsk, Soldau. Yeah, Soldau, yeah. Jaldovo. And we were there for about a week or so, a week or two. And from there we were sent to Starachowice. And what did you do in Jaudovo? In Soldau? What did nothing, you do there? Nothing. It just kept you... Just yeah. hanging around. We were put in, uh, in the former Polish military barracks. Mm -hmm. On uh, the bare floors, just a little straw mm -hmm. put on the floor. And, yeah. uh, and we were there. It was kind of a transit camp. Yes. No, it was a transit camp. And from there they sent us to Starachowice. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was a little town, Vyashpiki, near yes. Starachovice, mm -hmm. and on um, to Starachovice, uh, and, uh, and there uh, we were working, I uh, was assigned to work, mm -hmm. there was an ammunition factory, mm -hmm. the Hermann, called the Hermann Gehring mm -hmm. and so uh, I worked there until 1942, uh, that's uh, 1942 was the general, uh, Evacuation. I mean, or sending out all the Jews from the city, mm -hmm. clearing the the uh, final solution of the Jewish question. Mm -hmm. And all the people, our my parents and my younger brother, uh, were after a selection on the marketplace. Those that, in the opinion of the Germans, were capable to work in the ammunition factory, were separated and sent to the camp. Mm -hmm. The elderly and the young were sent to uh, Treblinka. Yes, yes. And killed there in Treblinka. Yes. My parents and my younger brother. Yeah. And we were in, uh, in Starovice till 1944, August, no, July, something like that. Yes. That we were sent to Auschwitz. Yes. We figured, we presumed that uh, Auschwitz is the last uh, step, that mm -hmm. that's where we're going to be killed. Yeah. And uh, I was assigned to work, I placed in the D camp, and we're going to be tomorrow in Auschwitz, Birkenau. Yes. In Birkenau, working in Birkenau until uh, the end of uh, 44. Mm -hmm. From there I was sent to uh, Germany. Yes. To a place called Tadfingen. 
near Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. uh, there the Germans built a airfield yes. for night fighters for the protection of Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. And so we were placed there until the Americans came and destroyed the airfield, destroyed all the planes, mm -hmm. destroyed the airfield, so we were not needed anymore and we were sent to another camp called uh, Dautmergen, mm -hmm. near Balingen, Schoenberg Balingen. Mm -hmm. Over there the Germans built a, um, what were they called, an ale ship factory, mm -hmm. dedicated to draw uh, oil from oil, shale. Yes, from shale, yes. Uh, and so um, that was da called Dautmergen. I was there until again the Americans came, destroyed the factory uh, and bombed the camp, mm -hmm. killing, it's funny thing that they killed the barracks, the SS barracks, yep. around the camp, mm -hmm. didn't hurt any of the uh, prisoners, mm -hmm. the SS, but then again we were not needed anymore, and then that was already April, and so they were taking us out on the dead march. We were supposed to be marching to the abundant salt mines in South Tyrol. Mm -hmm. And on the dead march in the middle of the highway, we were liberated on my 20th birthday, actually, on April 25th, 1945. Yes. I was liberated. And then what happened? Did you, what did you do then? Did you come back to Poland? No. 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 I stayed in Germany, uh, Stuttgart. Yeah. And then. And then uh, I found my relatives in the United States, mm -hmm. and they, with their help, with papers and everything yeah. else, I was allowed to come in 1949. How did you find your relatives? I knew my mother had two sisters and a brother mm -hmm. living in the States in Boston. Yes. And my, and my uncle actually was living upstate New York. Yes. In, the, in South Fallsburg. Yes. That's good area. My aunt, of course, was used to write and send help to her parents and to my mother, her sister. Mm -hmm. You know how yes. it was the family. Mm -hmm. and so from that, she was the one that was practically the bread breadwinner, mm -hmm. sending us constantly packages and money. Mm -hmm. And so I remember the name and the address where she lived. And in the D camps, they organized. Uh, registration bureaus, oh, yeah. the Hayas, yes. uh, the ORT, other agencies that came to the DP camps and announced that if there's anybody that has relatives in America, they can help to make contact. Mm -hmm. And so I knew the address and I gave them the address and uh, they helped me write uh, a letter to my aunt and of course she was very happy uh, that myself and two of my brothers survived. Mm -hmm. And so she said she's starting right away to help us, and then she said she's going to help us, work to help us uh, come to America. Yes. And so then, okay, very good. What did you do when you were in Birkenau? In Auschwitz? In Birkenau, I was yeah. working in the Canal Reinickes. Okay, yeah. Which is, I was called the Canal Reinickes. In English, it was the sewer cleaners. Yes, yes. Except it, there were no sewers there. Yeah. It was the toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was in Birkenau, it was a big... Uh, Toilet. In fact, I got a picture from it just with holes. Hole, yeah, three holes in yeah, uh, right. per section. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a cement uh, uh, plate, and so we had the roll bag. And you must have heard about the roll bag. Yes, yeah. And we used to empty out the the toilets, yeah. put it in the roll bag, and mm -hmm. take it, push it out outside the camp. Yes. Get to the on the palms for the mm -hmm. in the palms. Oh, yeah. The camp. Mm -hmm. Either spread it out on the pumps depending what time of the year, yeah. or otherwise there was a big area set like a cesspool. Yes. And we were empty it there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And your your number in Auschwitz was a eighteen thousand six hundred and fifty one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's yeah, the the late. The, uh, very late numbers. Yeah. Yes. The, yeah. the 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 A class. After the regular numbers, they changed to the A and the B. The B. Yes. And. Uh, and that was the same thing. I was there on the gypsy camp at the same night when they were cleaned out the gypsy. They took out all the gypsies. Yes. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Very thank, you. thank you. Thank you.